Alright, welcome back to here on our W2K18 Universe Mode. I'm, of course, Dominic here on the Battlefield channel. I'm making his way to the ring. It is the Raw General Manager, Dean Ambrose. What does he have to say to the WWE Universe? Welcome, everybody, to Monday Night Raw. Last night, in my opinion, was a very successful showing from the Red Brand. Asuka and Charlotte tore the house down. Eric Young and Alexander Wolfe gave each other many battle scars. And that match between Brock Lesnar and Shinsuke Nakamura was the most brutal match of their feud. But that's the past, and here on Raw, we're all about the future. So, in a few weeks, we're going to get into the Survivor Series pay-per-view, where Raw and SmackDown go head-to-head -head in a battle of supremacy. Now, I know, Raw is already the better show. So, we are going to prove that to SmackDown. There will be two main matches that will be for brand supremacy. There will be a one-on-one -on -one match where I'll pick one man from Raw and Mr. Rude will pick a man from SmackDown to face off against each other. Raw's pick will be announced in due time. However, for the second match, it will be a four-on-four -four elimination tag team match. Team Raw versus Team SmackDown. For Raw's team, I'm picking Chris Jericho, Finn Balor, the WWE Champion, Shinsuke Nakamura, and me. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let's get on to our programming here on Monday Night Raw. We have a huge, huge, huge news, as you just heard, from our general manager, Dean Ambrose. There will be two main non-title, you don't necessarily specify that, but there will be two non-title matches between Raw and SmackDown. Of course, there will be other... Uh, title matches between Raw and SmackDown. Um, but, however, ladies and gentlemen, there will be a big 4 on 4 elimination tag team match, and Dean Ambrose has just put himself into it. This will be the first time in our entire series that Dean Ambrose has has booked a match where he is in it. So, I'm, I'm excited. Of course, uh, Bobby Roode, he has had many matches because, you know, he's egotistical like that. Not necessarily Dean Ambrose, but Dean Ambrose, ladies and gentlemen, has put himself in a, in a matchup. Okay, he wants to show to Raw, hey, I, I am the I am the general manager, and I am a general manager that comes out here and fights for his brand. However, ladies and gentlemen, one of his tag team partners is gonna be this man, Chris Jericho. And ladies and gentlemen, he has a little bit he has a little bit of a warm-up match, just a little bit of a tiny bit of a warm-up match. He is going to go one on one against the big red machine, the monster. Kane, okay, Braun Strowman is SmackDown's monster. Kane, I would say, is probably ours, one of ours anyways, Monday Night Raw's. And there you can see Chris Jericho waiting in the ring for the big red machine, who we haven't, um, we haven't, we've seen a little bit of him. Last time we've seen him, he defeated Rob Van Dam in very quick and very decisive fashion. Of course, Rob Van Dam, the former hardcore champion who lost it last night. Um, well, over the weekend, to Seth Rollins, ladies and gentlemen, but of course, it's a little bit of a, a hint, a spoil, in case you haven't seen that pay-per-view, and now Chris Jericho and Kane shaking hands, a lot of shaking hands, a lot of respect lately between the roster members, Jericho and Kane now starting off, Jericho immediately on the attack here, Chris Jericho, just a few weeks ago, defeated Shinsuke Nakamura, sure, he had the help of Brock Lesnar, but he defeated Nakamura, which is not a very small feat. As now Jericho look up this, oh, hits him with an elbow off the back, and Chris Jericho looking pretty good here tonight against Kane, and Kane, oh my god, smack in the face by Chris Jericho. Okay, that respect is out the window, as Y2J going after his opponent, Kane here tonight, and Jericho, look at this, oh, went to go for a clothesline into the corner, and Kane moved out of the way, and oh my god, catches him off with a clothesline to the back of the head. But yeah, so, Chris Jericho, he defeated, oh, another clothesline, Chris Jericho defeated Kane, um, uh, 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 Shinsuke Nakamura, the current WWE Champion, who defeated Brock Lesnar. He defeated Brock Lesnar to keep his WWE Championship. Okay, he defeated two pay-per-views in a row, so of course defeating Nakamura is no small feat. As Chris Jericho hits him with a dropkick, doesn't even look like it mattered to him, and now wants to go hit him again, and <laughs> he, just, he just misses. That wasn't good. But Kane, and now, picks him up, and then, oh my god, huge! Did you see the strength? Good lord, the strength by the big red monster on Chris Jericho and Kane. Oh, with a big knee to the face there here tonight. Monday Night Raw. This is not the main event. We still have a pretty good main event, I do believe. 
to um, show you guys later on tonight, later on in this episode. As now Elbow misses Kane going after him, reverses, DDT connects there by Y2J on, on Kane now. Now look at this, oh, big hit to the face there. I think he wants to go for the walls of Jericho potentially. And Jericho, look at this, reverses him and takes him down with a big backwards uh, Russian leg sweep. Ladies and gentlemen, Kane, he's not looking good. Chris Jericho now. Look at this. Oh, hits him with an elbow drop from the top rope. He crashes and burns. And Kane, look at this. Could be setting up for the end of the match of a choke slam. And oh, he's got him, ladies and gentlemen. Hand around the throat and slams him down as hard as he can. Goes for the cover on Chris Jericho. One, two, no, two and seven eights. And Kane, ladies and gentlemen, does not get the three count as of yet. Chris Jericho, ladies and gentlemen, kicking out of a choke slam just now. And Kane, look at this, Chris Jericho rolls out the right. Oh, hits him with a big kick, doesn't realize that Kane isn't down yet. Okay, Kane, he is just taking those those strikes by Chris Jericho like they're nothing. And now look at this punch to the stomach, trying to get some sort of offense in. And now, oh, with a big punch to the face this time once again. And now, oh my god, look at this going under, ladies and gentlemen. Now with the walls of Jericho now fully connected in. If you see the if you see the left arm of Chris Jericho, it's not fully locked in. But ladies and gentlemen, let's go of it. Realizes it's not locked in as I hit my chair. Don't pay don't pay attention to that to to the to, to this noise if you can hear it. Anyways, Chris Jericho, ladies and gentlemen, going after Kane and Kane. Oh, with a big uh, splash to the back of the big red monster, and then an elbow connecting by Chris Jericho and Jericho, ladies and gentlemen. Trying to get some sort of control, trying to get some sort of offense here now on Kane. And now look at this. Oh, look at this just running into him. And Kane, look at this just... I, it wasn't even a shoulder tackle. He just runs into him like a brick wall. With a, like a brick wall. I don't know what a wall is, but a brick wall apparently. Because now Kane, look at this. Going for it. Oh my god, the height! Jesus, putting him almost through the top rope. And Kane, look at this. Knowing he's in control of Y2J, Chris Jericho. Of course, Chris Jericho, like I said, will be a part of the Fatal... F not the Fatal 4, the 4-on-4 four four elimination match um, at Survivor Series pay-per-view. So I'm going to be very... I'd be very excited for that. As now Kane like this. Oh, backwards DDT connecting on Chris Jericho. And Jericho moves out of the ring now. Kane is trying to follow him. Chris Jericho running around the ring. And the count of one by the referee. And Jericho, look at this. Oh, with a big kick to the face. And oh, well, kick to the stomach. Doesn't connect there. As now Kane... Takes him down. Chris Jericho not looking good. Jericho, look at this. Oh, the wrenching on the neck now by the big red machine. Just wrenching on Chris Jericho's neck in the middle of the ring. And Jericho needs to get out of this somehow. And he does. He gets out of it. And Chris Jericho, he's looking pretty good. Back. Oh, and a big DDT connecting there by Y2J. Chris Jericho, former WWE champion in his own right. And Jericho, look at this. Oh, right to the leg there. And Kane not looking good here. And I, Chris Jericho, trying to keep the offense, the momentum rolling into his favor. And oh, once again, just getting hit like a brick wall. One, and no, and again, a kick out. God, Kane is such, he's such a massive individual. Okay, and now look at this. Oh, and again, really? He just keeps reversing, the, not even reversing him. He just keeps running into him. Okay. <laughs> and Kane, look at this. Oh, right to the face with a stomp. And Kane, oh my god, what is this? Oh my god, just a chop to the back of the head by the big hand of Kane. Very even matchup thus far, going for a powerbomb position. And Kane, look at this. Oh, with the punches, Chris Jericho gets out of it. And now Jericho, look at this, out of nowhere, connecting with the code breaker there. Out of nowhere, out of the powerbomb. And Kane, ladies and gentlemen, getting pulled into the middle of the ring. Chris Jericho going for the cover off the code breaker. And now a one, two, three. Chris Jericho defeating the big red machine. Kane here tonight. Drink it in, man. As those those signs in the background stated. Oh my god. That was a that was a pretty even matchup. There you can see Choke Slip. Oh, right early on into the matchup. But Jericho, there you can see, going for the walls, letting go. He had to. And Jericho out of nowhere, bam, connecting there into that code breaker. Chris Jericho, ladies and gentlemen, showing that uh, the Raw GM, Dean Ambrose, chose a very well-rounded and a very good professional wrestler 
as a part of his team as he move as we move on to the main event here tonight on Monday Night Raw. And ladies and gentlemen, main event tonight, and, and oh look at this Rob Van Dam going after Seth Rollins. Well, the match is supposed to be Alexander Wolf versus Seth Rollins, and Rob Van Dam going after Seth Rollins. Obviously, Van Dam he is not happy about his loss, ladies and gentlemen, last night or over the weekend for the Hardcore Championship. And Seth Rollins, look at this. New hardcore champion now looking too good. Facing off against Alexander Wolf, who has just left who ladies and gentlemen last night defeated his former sanity um uh 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 leader Eric Young. And now look at this Wolf taking full advantage of that distraction. Ducks underneath the clothesline and Seth, look at this. Oh, gets a big clothesline by Alexander Wolf. Ladies and gentlemen, now look at this going after him here tonight. Alexander Wolf, ladies and gentlemen, high off the heels, like I said, of a big win. And now look at this. I want to go for a big slam. Misses Seth Rollins, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously not 100% after that attack by Rob Van Dam. And now Seth, look at this, throws him to the outside. Alexander Wolf hanging on. Rob Van Dam, oh! Ladies and gentlemen, might be watching on as Seth now trying to get some sort of control here tonight in this matchup. Going for a, what is this? Oh, big DDT there. An, uh, an arm hook DDT, an underarm hook DDT by Seth Rollins and Wolf. Look at this. Oh, throws him into the steel steps. My God, into the steel steps. Oh my God, Alexander Wolf going after Seth like it's nothing. In oh, connecting there here. Count of four by the referee. Seth Rollins, he is not looking good. Not at all. Okay, after that attack, he's just being. De just demolished here by Alexander Wolf and oh the big drop kick bouncing <laughs> just like going into the ropes there didn't look good at all and Wolf now look at this realizing that he has all of the control here tonight on Seth Rollins and Rollins look at this getting picked up here by Alexander Wolf and now oh back of the head back of the spine of of, of Seth Rollins Hitting the top turnbuckle. And Alexander Wolf, look at this. Kick to the back again. And Seth Rollins, hardcore champion. Not looking good at all. Connects there. Misses. Sorry, not connects there. He misses, ladies and gentlemen. And Seth Rollins trying to pin him right now. One. Gets a rope break, ladies and gentlemen. Gets his foot on the bottom rope, as you see. And Rollins can't believe it. Rollins hoping that he would have gotten that one, two, three. But he didn't. And now Seth, look at this. Alexander Wolf picking him up. And now... Death Belly Driver on Seth Rollins. And Alexander Wolf now. Look at this. Waiting for Seth Rollins. Wolf going for a powerbomb position. Could be going for that big powerbomb. Run up. Powerbomb connects there by Alexander Wolf. One, two. And no, Seth Rollins. Rollins kicking out here. The hardcore champion. Just kicking out of the Alexander Wolf powerbomb. Ladies and gentlemen. And Seth. Look at this, gets thrown off the ropes. And now Alexander Wolf grabs him into a belly to belly, misses. And now, oh, the punches, gets the reversal by Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins with a big kick there. And Wolf, ladies and gentlemen, stunned. And Seth Rollins, no respect, kicks him in the stomach. And now, kicked out immediately there by Alexander Wolf. Seth Rollins going right after him here tonight. In this one on one encounter here in our, yo in our universe mode. Main event, Monday Night Raw main event. And Seth wants him up, Alexander Wolf. Ladies and gentlemen, red, and now look at this, oh, misses, ladies and gentlemen, the top rope, uh, Meteora, me double knee strike, Meteora, I don't know, it's one of those, one of those things that, you know, Michael Cole is starting to say, as now, look at this, Wolf, oh, what is this, and just throws him down like he's nothing, throws him down, and I'll go for that big flip, and it connects there, and Alexander Wolf, ladies and gentlemen, just destroying Seth Rollins, and Rollins, look at this, trying to fight back any chance he can, and Alexander Wolf reverses that again. And Seth going, ladies and gentlemen, misses or reverses Alexander Wolf. And Wolf with a big or gets a big um elbow to the face. And Seth now look at this. Oh, right on the throat of 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 Alexander Wolf. And Seth Rollins now, ladies and gentlemen, feeling the momentum of this matchup, this main event. Oh, misses there, and then oh the big kick to the face. And Alexander Wolf now taunting Seth Rollins, a very similar taunt to Seth Rollins, usually a Seth Rollins-esque taunt. Okay, almost mocking him. And then, oh, with a big punch to the stomach by Seth. And Wolf now, look at this. Backwards DDT, or DDT reverses, and oh, look at that! 
Amazing counter into a clothesline there. And now Seth Rollins just getting the getting the uh, strikes there. And oh, misses that. And now look at this. Grabbing him into a... Oh, connecting there, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. Beautiful. I, Seth Rollins 100% on his game now after that attack. He's done. He's not shooken up by that attack. And now Rollins... Curb stomp into the ground. Connecting. And now goes for the cover here tonight. One. Two. And no, Seth Rollins, ladies and gentlemen. Alexander Wolf kicking out of a curb stomp. Even though we had an intense battle last night, Alexander Wolf. He is still in the matchup. And now, Alexander Wolf going after Seth Rollins. And Wolf now going for a powerbomb position once again. Setting up into that powerbomb there. One. Two. And three. No! How is this still going on? Alexander Wolf can't believe it. Seth Rollins, if nothing else, has shown an, an impressive amount of resiliency by 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 Seth Rollins, ladies and gentlemen, has shown an amazing heart in this matchup. And now Wolf. Oh my god, what is he doing? And now look at this off the top rope. Right on the throat. And Wolf going after Seth Rollins here. And Rollins, ladies and gentlemen, you don't want to get up, Alexander Wolf. He wants him up, and then into the big boot there, ladies and gentlemen. Seth Rollins, he was showing promise earlier on in this matchup, but right now he's not looking. He does a big power slam in the middle of the ring, and Alexander Wolf, he's all fired up here. Imagine if he defeats the Hardcore Champion, even though the Hardcore Champion he was um, attacked earlier. Just imagine how much that could do for his new singles career, and look at this. Oh, connects there with the blackout. One. No, get out of it. That wasn't the blackout. I'm sorry. That's not what that was called. I don't remember what that was called, but it was really cool. And it's the Kalisto move. It's the Salida del Sol, pretty much. As now Rollins, look at this. Oh, over the top rope. And Seth Rollins, even though he was attacked earlier, even though he's been having trouble getting into this matchup, still flipping around like he's nothing. Okay, Seth Rollins, he is very comfortable both in the air and on the mat. As now Rollins going for, oh, and a big suplex there connecting. Of course, by our hardcore champion, our new hardcore champion who defeated Rob Van Dam. Ladies and gentlemen, and Rollins. Look at this running into a big kick to the back of the head there. Big Insiguri Shining Wizard, whatever you want to call it. As now Seth, punch in the face, reverses. Alexander Wolf reverses it. Picks him up, ladies and gentlemen, out of nowhere. Grabs him, staring at the hard cam. Reverses that into a backwards DDT. Reversals for reversals, ladies and gentlemen. And now Seth Rollins. Having control here tonight, going for a big suplex. Take down and it connects there. And Alexander Wolf now, ladies and gentlemen, not looking the best he could be right now. And Seth could be setting up for a curb stomp. And now, ladies and gentlemen, he reverses the curb stomp. I do believe it looked like he was setting it up for it, at least. And now, Seth Rollins, look at this. Big DDT connecting, or not DDT, a big suplex connecting there by Rollins. And a kick out there by Alexander Wolf immediately. Off the suplex. And now look at this. He's confused. Seth Rollins. He's going up for a high risk offense here tonight. Will he be able to do whatever he's trying to do here tonight? He tried earlier for the knee strikes. Looks like he's going for it again. And no, this time tricks us all with a big body splash by uh, Seth Rollins now and Alexander Wolf. And Wolf now takes him down with a big DDT. A big backwards DDT, ladies and gentlemen, connecting. And Wolf trying his best to get into this matchup, trying somehow desperately to win this fight. Okay, Alexander Wolf, now he's also reeling, just as reeled as Seth Rollins. And ladies and gentlemen, this might turn the tides in his favor if he connects it. Going to the top rope, going for that big superplex, and it connects off the top rope. Superplex off the top rope, goes for the cover, middle of the ring, one, two. And no, and Seth Rollins, his eyes was open. He was like, I can't believe that. I can't believe that superplex. What the hell just happened? <laughs> As now Rollins, ladies and gentlemen, getting picked up once again for a Death Valley driver. And it connects again with the Death Valley driver. Main event time for Monday Night Raw. What a main event we are seeing. And Alexander Wolf grabs him. Going for the running power bomb, it looks like, out of the corner. And it connects there. Goes for the cover off of it. One, two, and no, once again? What? That's now three kickouts. 
He's kicked out three times! What in the world is it going to take for Alexander? Oh, but oh my god, what to go for a big high-risk flip there? Ladies and gentlemen, and Seth, look at this. What is he going for here? Throws him into the corner, and oh god, I think we know what's coming next. Puts him between the legs, and ladies and gentlemen, Seth Rollins, buckle bomb! Oh, connecting there into the top turnbuckle. And Alexander Wolf, oh, with a big kick there, connecting. Big uh, leg kick, drop kick style maneuver off the buckle bomb, and Seth... Ladies and gentlemen, going for a maneuver, Alexander Wolf reverses it. And now look at this, going for a maneuver of his own and takes him down. Back and forth between these two reversals for reversals these two have. It's like these two have fought each other millions of times before, but, I, but this is the first time we've ever seen these two fight one-on-one. -on -one. And then, oh, kick to the stomach there by Seth Rollins. Okay, kicks him in the arm there, turns him over, and Rollins... A second curb stomp now driving him into the middle of the ring. But Seth Rollins, look at this. Going down to one knee. Alexander Wolf getting some time to breathe. Will this, ladies and gentlemen, defeat Alexander Wolf? Rollins, one, two, three. Seth Rollins, even though he was attacked earlier, Alexander Wolf, he tried his best. He showed him. He showed promise. He did three power bombs. Seth Rollins, ladies and gentlemen, just too good. There you can see one power bomb, ladies and gentlemen. And then the second one. And then Seth Rollins, ladies and gentlemen, getting the third one. But Seth Rollins, in the end, your hardcore champion, defeating Alexander Wolf, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be the end of this episode here on our WWE 2K18 Universe Mode, episode 78. If you guys liked it, please let me know by hitting the like button down below. Comment anything you want to come subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, why not hit the bell to be notified of everything we do here on the Bad Wrestling channel. I am, of course, Dominic, and have a good day from Bad Wrestling. Bye-bye. Yo!